Hello and welcome to Driver Industrial out of Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Colby Johnson and I'm here to bring to you our newest line of products, our X-Mod Series Beacon. So these warning lights are amazing. We have put so much, so much premium design into these. It's absolutely incredible. You're going to be getting a premium beacon for a similar prices to others that are on the market. You're really going to love these beacons. Not only will they do what you want them to do, but they're going to do it and have so many other features that you're never going to want to buy another beacon ever, period, because these are amazing. So let me turn these off so you can see me adequately. And uh, we'll kind of run through here. So what we have is a um, low profile beacon and we also have the high profile beacons. So we have both of those available. Um, we have multicolors, so we have the red, the blue, the white, the green, and amber, of course. So you can get those in the, with these clear lenses and clear domes, you can get all five colors. And then over here, we have an amber Fresa lens. So this is a um, very nice lens that will produce an incredible color for you if you want just an amber beacon. A lot of companies require that the beacon is amber whether it's on or off and they can see that it's clearly amber. A lot of other companies prefer the clear because they're actually less visible when not in operation and not on a work site or business site. They're almost not even um, noticeable to the eye because it's clear you just kind of ignore it. Um, but when you see a bright orange beacon whether it's a, a low profile or a high profile you can definitely see that and then when you turn them on obviously you have the brightness. So some things to consider about our beacons is our beacons we decided to produce a class one beacon so that's the brightest that's out there. Your class one is for your emergency vehicles so like police, fire, ambulance, that sort of thing. They require the brightest beacons and those are typically a class one. If you are required to have a class two beacon Guess what? A class one will qualify as a class two. Class two is for your utility vehicles and other ancillary vehicles and whatnot where you need those warning lights so that you can be seen and noticed and observed so that people are safe around those vehicles and when those vehicles are interacting with other vehicles that might be bigger or smaller in different cases. Um, they're also class um, 13. Uh, California 13 class title so you're good in California as well when you need that specific um, requirement so they're SAE um, they are everything you need them to be as far as the requirements go alright so let's start from the top and work our way to the bottom so first off let's discuss our polycarbonate domes so we have uh, again low profile high profile the polycarbonate is your brake resistance. So this is what's going to really protect the rest of your dome there. The polycarbonate is really, really strong. So we went with a clear polycarbonate dome. One, to get that optic clear. So you have, you have next to nothing um, reducing any light um, translucence through there. And then you have the strongest plastic that you can get. Um, in, in an optic. So we went with a polycarbonate dome that locks down on your base. So let me show you that. So just an example, you've got three um, little teeth and grooves on each side. You're going to line that up and you're going to press it in and then you'll turn it. And if you can't turn it by hand, we've made this saddle base. It's aerodynamic. We'll talk more about the base in a bit. But you can use that base on something and then you can use it to turn and lock the beacon or unlock the beacon pretty easily and then it'll come apart. So that is that is some pretty cool engineering, cool designing so far and we're just talking about the dome. The next thing beyond your dome is going to be your fre Fresnel uh, lens. So we've taken the um, scientific engineering behind this and created a Fresnel, Fresnel lens. These are amazing. They're optically clear and they're designed to produce the brightest light possible in a perfect pattern. So our LEDs give you um, a 360 viewing capacity with this um, Fresnel, Fresnel lens and obviously we have it in all the different sizes and um, colors that you see here. Next up um, we're going to jump to the insides. So inside of our beacon we have um, artificial intelligence. 
This is uh, the only beacon that I know of on the market that it has the level of artificial intelligence that these have. This programming that's in here does so much. One, it has um, day night, right? So it can see when it's night out and it can adjust the light. Um, it also measures all your voltage in so that it can give you the optimized brightest LED output uh, no matter what your voltage is between 10 and 48 volts. Um, it uses uh, lower amperage, it's uh, less than um, 1.25 on amperage um, all the way up to that if it's on a steady burn, full constant burn. So your, your amperage is controlled, your voltage is measured and controlled. Um, we've got some advanced settings built into here where the artificial intelligence will kick in. If your voltage drops, it will um, give you, when it hits around 10 volts, um, it will get, give you a change in pattern so you know that the voltage on your battery is low and then when it gets below that, it'll actually shut off so that it doesn't drain your battery down the rest of the way. If your voltage for some reason goes over 48 volts, the computer will shut the shut the LEDs down and everything down, and, it'll, and it will um, keep checking that voltage until it comes back to the correct range, and then it will turn back on again. It will start flashing the same pattern it had before. Um, we've really done a great job here in designing this for all these parts to be interchangeable, upgradable, adaptable. We call this the X-Mod series because it's very modular in design. So another thing, we have a sensor for temperature. So the um, artificial intelligence system in here will measure your ambient temperatures and make sure again that these lights are operating at their maximum capacity of brightness um, during any temperatures. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona, so we cope with a lot of high temperatures here. We have an office in Canada, cope with a lot of cold temperatures in the, those regions there. So our beacon will manage the temperature and the power outage to these lights in all of those different situations. Now we have a lot of options inside here with your LEDs. We have a single color LED, we have a dual color LED, and then we're going to have in the, in the near future here a rotating LED. So we'll have more LEDs, it'll actually be four per side and it'll give you that almost true rotation for a lot of uh, companies that require that rotating light. We will have that shortly. And then the, the third uh, design is gonna be an RGB LED. So we'll be able to put a single or a double or um, the rotating, a single or the rotating with the RGBs. So you'll be able to pick any one of the colors that you need to um, depending on your situation. So that'll be coming out soon as well. So this is the light emitter and this is the driver. The driver has all the programming, um, all the computers. This is very efficiently designed to reduce any um, electro frequency outputs that would uh, disturb any um, electronics. Um, it's, it's very carefully designed, again, to manage heat dissipation. Um, we have um, put a silicone in here over all of these elements here. So these elements are protected against moisture, corrosion, anything like that, um, which is pretty amazing. So we talked about, or I touched on, the adaptability, the conversions, all of the different re exchangeable, rechangeable parts that we can do here. If you break a dome somehow, you can replace a dome. If you want to go from a single color amber to a multicolor, that can be done. If you want to upgrade to a rotating um, LED system later or an RGB system later, you can absolutely do that. Um, let me set this down. We have the LED emitters are going to be for purchase separate um, from the drivers. If you're converting from a single LED to a dual LED where maybe you have an amber and a green and one site you use the amber light and another site or location you use the green so you might want two colors you would get a kit where you would have an LED with the two colors and the driver with, which would control those two colors and there's two screws here that you would take out right here over here on this guy right here 
you would take those out and you can replace that whole unit there and go from a single color to a dual color or upgrade to rotating or RGB when those come out. You wouldn't have to replace your whole beacon. Um, you could just replace those parts that are necessary to get you exactly what you want. So again, it's that modular design. That's one of the concepts that we created with this. So we've talked about the dome, the lens. We're working through the computer, the electronics there. Um, we've covered a lot of base, the, a lot of bases. So now let's talk about bases. We have four different bases available for you. One, you can purchase the beacon with a uh, permanent mount base. So we have six screw holes. When you get permanent, you're going to get these beautiful silicone um, esque. Uh, pads that are going to go on there. You put one on each side and then you would put your six screws in there and these silicone um, bases allow you to keep water, moisture, rust, anything like that happening there um, and it's just a nice fit, a nice snug vibration free type fit and you put those six bolts in there and tighten that down whether it's on a plate or whatever you're going to mount that to but that's a permanent mount when you're using a permanent mount, you would use a permanent mount power connector. This one right here is connected to a cigarette lighter adapter with the quick connection here. So these are replaceable, removable, exchangeable as well. You would take a screwdriver and you would take the one screw out of the base there. And then these only go in one way, so you can't really do it wrong. And then for a permanent mount, you would do this one that has a pigtail for power for your positive and negative. And you would just press that on in there. And then put your screw right back in there. And this pigtail, along with these pads and the screws to bolt it together, would create your permanent mounting system. So let me switch this back over to the um, other one so we can have some power when we want to show it off. So we have, these are going with your permanent mount system. And let me put this back on here so I don't lose it. There we go. If we wanted to upgrade to a magnetic mount system, we would take two of the magnetic mount bases and we would put those over here. And they just simply slide in like that and slide in like that. And then they would come with six screws that are going to secure the magnetic bases to the beacon. And then you have your magnetic mount base. Now, uh, like I say, when we designed and built these, we brought in all the feedback that we've had over the years of, of selling and making, manufacturing our previous beacons um, to these. And we want these to be the absolute best. So one of the feedback items is most beacons out there with a magnetic base will scratch the top of your vehicle, whether you're leasing it, whether it's your own beacon, be, beacon or vehicle. Um, a lot of people would switch over to a vacuum magnetic base because the vacuum magnetic base is rubberized, right? So that would help protect that vehicle. Um, just because it's a vacuum doesn't mean that the vacuum is going to hold it in place. It's the combination of vacuum suction and then the magnet holding it down that creates that um, semi-permanence of that beacon being attached to the vehicle. So what we did on the magnetic bases right here is we over molded the bottom here and as you can see this red area protrudes just a little bit and it's rubberized. So once you've put this on your vehicle or whatever metal that you're attaching it to um, you have a nice sturdy firm. You've got eight neodymium magnets that are just pulling that down and holding it on there and then you've got that rubberized base that's not going to let it slip. It's not going to let it scratch. When you take it off it's all made to not scratch your vehicle. So that is a great thing. Another design that we did on this whole base is this saddle pattern. You'll see how it goes up here. There's a lot of vehicles out here that are corrugated or have a channel in the roof. Well, this saddle pattern is made to either sit over it or on it, depending on what the design is, to go from high point to high point or for that corrugation to go underneath. And then the, um, the magnetic base would set into the valleys of the corrugation. So that 
is the magnetic solution. And then again, six, you would take six screws out and switch that out if you wanted to switch it out to your vacuum magnetic if you wanted that instead. Let me see if I set these down without getting trapped by the magnificent power magnets. There we go. Craziness over here. We'll spread these out. So the vacuum magnetic again these go on here exactly the same way they slide in three bolts on each side duplicate that on the other side and when you put that on you would press that down so that you get the vacuum and then the magnetic part will hold it down in place if you have a uh, aluminum vehicle or something that a magnet is not going to adhere to we have a mag we have a um, steel plate so this is a power coated steel plate with um, adhesive on the back. Clean your surface area, put that down, put your magnet base on here, and then set that down and it will affix itself to that magnetic plate and then you can take it off the magnetic plate and that will stay on your car or vehicle or truck um, or wherever you're putting it until you're done. So that is a great solution as well. Um, the next one is with your permanent mount we also have a pipe mount so if you have a vehicle that has that pipe structure that comes up we have this pipe mount fitting with your standard thread your standard one inch pipe thread um, so you put that on there and then you'll put your mount your beacon right to the top of that again six bolts your power cord you could run it through the center or off to the side depending on how you set up your power um, while using the pole and you would use the pigtail with the um, flying leads on the end. So there you have it. That's four different ways or more actually but four mounting systems. We have the pipe mount system, the magnetic mount system with the overmold rubberized, then we have the vacuum magnetic and then we have permanent mount with these nice little pads and you can screw everything together Again, the modularity um, allows you to convert this into any one of those systems. So if you bought it as a permanent mount and you decided you weren't going to permanently mount it, you wanted to use a magnet, you could, you could quickly change that over. You would just need a cigarette lighter, the quick connect pigtail for your cigarette lighter, and you would need your magnetic mounts. So there's a kit you could purchase and you would be able to put that on there and convert that quickly from permanent mount to magnetic or the opposite. If you purchased a magnetic mount and you decided, hey, I really need to just permanently mount this somewhere, um, you could take all of those items off, pick up this item and your pads. So you would get a kit with your pads and your permanent mount um, power cord there and your screws and then you could just mount it up that way. So a couple more things here, um, before I'll turn these back on, I'll show you a couple more things, but we also have a, um, instead of the cigarette lighter power adapter here, we have the hardwire kit as well. So it's pretty similar in nature as you have a power and you have um, two options um, for um, selectability, depending if you have a single uh, single uh, single color LED or if you have a multicolor LED same here you've got power and then you've got two pivot options there and you can cycle through the um, the different the ten different uh, flashing patterns that we have for you so we have short profile we can take this off this is our pencil lens we can take that off we can easily convert up to um, a high dome right so we can go to the high profile with the lens for that these will give you a little bit more um, output kind of a, uh, a wave so to speak or a light you'll get more um, surface area there so your lit your LED emitter is located right here and there is one screw in here you would take that out and then you could press that in this one will work really easy so your LED emitter, your driver, and we want to make this a, a, a high dome, right? So you would easily you would take the screw out and then you would just push in like this. 
You usually want to grab this by the sides, not the circuit boards, and then that'll pop up. So you would go to a high dome, and then you put your high dome on there. Boop. And you would easily convert from a low dome to a high dome just by removing a screw, pushing it in, and lifting the LED emitter up. And again, the simplicity, if you push it in and lift it up again, you'll, you'll, it'll come right off of there. So it's really easy to put these on and, and off as well. I'll show you that too. So if you push it in one more time, continue to lift up. Then you have your LED emitter separate from your driver. If you needed to switch the LED emitters, you would just switch those. Line this all up. Make sure that these metal pins are going right where they're supposed to. There's two here and two on this other side here. And then it locks down one and two. Put your screw back in. Assemble the rest and you're good to go. So again, modular amazing. So let me switch this over here. Let's show you some light because that's what you're here for. Let's go there. All right. Turn this one on. We'll turn this one on. So what I have here is I've got a single a single color amber, and over here I have a single color amber as well. This one has the amber lens. This one has a clear lens. So again, you've got polycarbonate dome. You've got the acrylic optically clear lens over here. Acrylic um, with the amber lens over here. So you can see they are very bright. If I shine them right at the camera, they are very, very bright. If you tilt them down, they kind of come out of that wave, but they're still very visible. And that's what safety is all about. The brightness, the visibility. So we have these, and then we can look at, there we go. So we have power on off, and then we have two, a, a switch that's pivotable, you press that, and you're gonna cycle through your LED patterns. So we can do that on both. And there's 10 different LED patterns, so you can choose the pattern that is your favorite. And whenever you've got your favorite selected, whenever you turn it off, when you turn it back on, that same pattern will come back up for you. So once you've picked your pattern, then it will stay, which is awesome. So we have one more feature with the lighting that I can tell you about. It's a, a night mode or a barricade mode. Um, this is where you can put a beacon on a crane or a beacon somewhere that you only need the beacon to flash during the nighttime. Well that day night sensor, that light sensor that's in there will recognize when it gets dark and then it'll turn it on. So we have programming you can press your button and select that program and you would have the same 10 um, flash patterns available for night mode or barricade mode um, that you have during daytime. So you can set that up for day use or day night use or nighttime only use and that's available with um, all of these as well. So these are the single LEDs as you can see they're, they're fantastically bright. Let's go over here and let's turn on, let me move this one over here. I have a dual LED light over here, so I can show you that example as well. So we take the quick connection here, and I'll switch it over to this little one, plug that in there, and then I'll turn it on. And so this one is a green and white LED. When we press the button one way, we get our light. We can change what light, so now we're all green. Push it again, and we're white. Push it again, and it'll go a combination of green, white, green, white. So we go back to green. And when we push the bottom instead of the top, the bottom allows us to change that LED flashing pattern. So we can pick our favorite pattern. And then once we have it set, like I said, you can turn it off. And every time you turn it on, it'll be exactly the way it was the last time you used it. So the, again, this is great if you have um, multiple locations or um, a supervisor that needs to have another color available, or maybe you have an emergency color and a regular running color, right? 
Um, so there's a lot of options available when you have two colors for your beacon. So that's it. Um, I know that was a lot. It's a fantastic beacon. We wanted to come to you and video and really share with you um, all the amazing features that we really have available for you here with the Helios Warning Lights XMOD series beacons. So you're going to love these. Um, check us out www.driverindustrial.com um, We've got a catalog there in the, the, on the website. You can look through everything. Um, you can look uh, for the XMOD lights there. Um, you can call us at 602-424-2500. Talk to our sales team with any questions that you might have. If you feel like emailing us, we're available at sales at driverindustrial.com. So feel free to contact us about these if you have questions about pricing, quantities, availability, um, or just general questions. We'd love to get some feedback once you start purchasing these. Um, we want to hear how successful and how amazing they are and um, how they keep you safe. So thank you so much for today. Thank you for your time. Um, we are here to brighten up your day. Stay safe out there.